Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. Hi, so today <laughs> we're gonna talk about the new Jeffrey palette and why I'm not reviewing it. As someone who has reviewed every single Jeffrey release for several years, I am not gonna review this new Psychedelic Circus collection. I would be willing to review one of the eye glosses he dropped and I guess I missed. I saw it on Beautylish. If you guys want me to review the eye gloss, let me know. But I'm not reviewing the new collection. I'm also gonna talk about the new um, Shane and Jeffrey series, seeing myself in it, um, because people wanted to know how I felt about it. <laughs> and then also I'm gonna react to the new Doomsday uh, palette. It's not coming out as far as we know, but what what would have been the second Shane and Jeffrey collab. So I wanted to talk about that today. And uh, yeah, if you don't like the people I'm talking about in this video, that's, I, I don't know what to tell you. Don't hate on me for talking about it. It's just makeup, you guys. Like, truly, it's just makeup. I don't have to buy something. You don't have to buy something. It's all good. So let's just get started. Oh, also, I do have a small business, TheOpenCrypt.com. It's where my guillotine earrings are from and my lashes today, if you're interested. So I'll leave that link down below because I figured I might as well just promote that today, too. Okay, so the lighting's a little bit weird today, but that's because it's the afternoon when I'm filming this. And, uh, you know, it just is what it is. The video's not about the lighting. You know, I'm not a professional makeup artist. You're not here to see the most spectacular look in the world. So I feel like it's gonna be fine. So let's talk about it. And while I talk about why I'm not gonna review the Jeffrey palette, let's use the Jeffrey palette. That's the reason, one of the reasons I'm not buying a new Jeffrey palette and it's Jawbreaker. So Jawbreaker, I did a video maybe like two years ago that a lot of people copied afterwards because I'm glad I had a good, uh, I had a good idea for a video and it's where I ranked all of Jeffrey's palettes to that point. Um, and then other people did it with the Jeffrey palettes and other people did it with the other palettes and stuff. And it was nice to see go around because I like to see other people's ranking and everything. Um, and I put Jawbreaker at the number one spot for like his best palette at the time because it's a really good quality palette with a lot of shades. Is it kind of expensive? Sure. But like it has a good variety of shades. Um, so I do enjoy this palette. I just never reach for it because it's not my go-to color scheme. But we're going to do it today. I'm just going to do like a little simple eye look. I think I want to go orange. I wanted to go red. But this shimmer here does stain my lid quite a bit. So I'm just going to go for orange today. Um, but so the new Jeffrey Psychedelic Circus palette launched on Friday. And I was thinking about it and thinking about it. And then when I got a little bit of money, I was like, okay, just do it. You've reviewed every other Jeffrey palette ever. Okay, you've reviewed every Jeffrey palette. You've reviewed Jeffrey mystery boxes. You've reviewed Jeffrey palettes that came inside of other things like mystery boxes and such. Just do it. And I was going to. But the palette's not available on Beautylish, and that's where I typically buy my Jeffrey things from because I've had a bad experience with how long things take from his warehouse. So going through a third party like Beautylish, which is his main third party retailer since Morphe's gone, is the best way to go. There's free shipping over $35. They have good customer service. And um, also it's like two day shipping. So I can get it really quickly. Sometimes there's like a processing day or two when there's a large, large uh, release, like when Jeffrey was at his prime of sales, it would take an extra, maybe it would take four days or four or five days to get the product after launch. And that's way faster because last time I ordered from Jeffrey's website, it took over two weeks. Um, I think it's like 21 days is how long it took for me from the day I ordered to get it, even though I... Should have been one of the first people to check out because I have my information saved and everything. It just took a really long time. And you know, different places, different warehouses have different shipping times, whatever. Well, I was gonna order this one since it was only released on Jeffrey's site and Jeffrey has not addressed it that I've seen anywhere online about why it's not on Beautylish. I was gonna order it through his website. But after shipping costs, cause his shipping, his free shipping costs, to get free shipping is like a lot. Um, after shipping costs and tax and everything, it was going to come out of $75 for just the palette. And for one eyeshadow palette for me to review and hopefully get some good views, $75 and then never knowing if it's going to arrive within like a relatively good amount of time. Because if I get the palette a month later in the mail, it's not worth reviewing anymore because I'm not getting that money back. You know, <laughs> like I'm not that popular of a YouTuber where I'm going to get that money back 
it was a really 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 late release um of the video so when it came to jeffrey's stuff i was always finger on the trigger everything saved ready to go refreshing on three different browsers at launch every single launch for the last several years and this one i just decided it wasn't worth chasing after because i feel like it's very similar to jawbreaker now i'm using the shade the shade suck right now my crease it's coming out kind of peachy compared to this orange shade right here i don't know i have an eyelid primer on and everything so it should have been perfect maybe it's just because i'm using a fluffy brush but it's coming out kind of peachy maybe my palette is older though i don't really know what's going on here i thought it'd be orange orange so because it's 75 dollars 74 something here's what the cart looks like when i put it in my cart um for that palette i don't know when it's going to arrive it's not really worth reviewing if it was something i was in love with i would definitely still purchase it because it's for a video okay everything's for a video <laughs> And I like reviewing makeup. It's my favorite thing. So if it came through Beautylish, I was willing to order it because it would be free shipping. And I know I would get it at Tommy Matter because it's through all Jeffrey's site. I'm not going to. I know it's not worth making a video just to say that. So I also wanted to talk about um, the color story. So right, well, I have it in my hands technically. This is the Jawbreaker palette. This right here is the Jawbreaker palette. This is the Psychedelic Circus palette. Okay, and then here is the Psychedelic Circus palette versus my version of the Psychedelic Circus. Now, I tried to keep most of the shades to be the same colors that Jeffrey used because it is his color story, his idea, his brand, his palette, everything. So I tried to keep everything except two shades I did change from their original shades. I switched two different shades, like the dark brown at the end is now a purple. Um, and I changed one of the green, I changed the shade to green, I believe as well. So you can see that my palette and his version of the palette are slightly different. I just feel like this palette needed to be tweaked a little bit in my own personal uh, preference. I'm not a makeup brand owner, so I don't know. There was a cat attacking my arm. <laughs> so obviously it's his creation. He, everything says what he goes. But there's just a couple things I really thought should be punched up a little bit. So I'll just, I'll move over into the sunlight over here. Why do I look like I'm in the abyss right now? Oh my god. So I just thought some of the shades should be more pumped up. I didn't feel circus from the psychedelic circus. I didn't really think it matched the theme. I talked about this in Unfiltered Opinions video as well, where I just didn't feel like it was punched in there enough. I feel like for psychedelic circus, I need like a true red and a true white or a true yellow for circus. I wasn't I wasn't seeing that in his, and then also some of the colors I wanted a little more like neon too. And uh, yeah, that's just what I just wish it would have seen something a little bit different. I just feel like it looks very similar. Now, I know there's a million rainbow palettes out there and a lot of rainbow, rainbow palettes are going to look similar. That's just what it is. But it's it wasn't enough for me to be like, this is so unique. I need to review this palette so good. Um, so that's why I'm not reviewing it. I thought about it. I really did. I was like, ooh. They have shop pay on Jeffrey's side, I think. Maybe I could do that. But still $75, and I don't know if it'll arrive in a timely manner. Is just not. I know you can change your shipping things and everything, but usually on the Jeffrey website, it's the processing time that takes a while. And uh, it's just... I didn't even know that palette came out at first because no one was talking about it. Like, I didn't see it on the, rele on the reveal day because people weren't talking about it. So I just figured people weren't as interested in this one, unlike the Star Wedding one, um, where everyone was talking about it. So for this one, I just didn't feel like it was worth the investment of the palette. Easy enough explanation, I think. Also, this is not... I went to the sunlight again. This is not orange. It looks peach. It looks peach. But other than... It looks very similar to this Jawbreaker palette. I don't see the circus theme and I'm just not enthralled with the color story or the undetermined amount of time it will take me to receive the palette to be worth a review. Let's talk about the new Jeffrey series with Shane Dawson. So um, I get so I've been in the previous Jeffrey series. You see like a little clip of me. And in the new one, I was in the first episode and I wasn't the first or the second episode. I wasn't one of the first. I think I was in the first episode. 
and then in this new third one that just came out. And I like it when people tell me that I'm tagging or I'm in stuff before I see it because af after like 6 p.m. I don't watch YouTube videos anymore. I kind of turn YouTube off after 6. Um, so anything that comes out in the afternoon, typically I don't see until the next day. But I like it when people tell me, oh, you're in this video. I'm so happy to see you in there. Or like, oh my god, I was so shocked to see you in this video. And that's like really fun for me. I think it's really fun. I oh, also, what I, what I think about the new palette, I'll talk about that too. The new Doomsday palette that's not being released, but I wish they would because I really like it. People always leave comments telling me that they were excited to see me in the thing and like, did I see it? I'm in there. That's really fun. I like that a lot. And I, I'm so happy you guys are excited to see me because when I see myself, I'm like, oh, hey, that's me. And then sometimes I don't recognize myself. It's, it's a weird complex. Like, um, in the first clip I was in in the series, I didn't... <laughs> I, someone sent me a, a timestamp and I clicked on it to see myself and it didn't register in my brain that that was me at first because I had dark red hair and I was like it took I knew that was me but it didn't feel like me because I feel like I don't know that girl anymore it was so long ago and then I saw clips of me using the um I had orange hair and I think I was using oh it was the B blood money palette which I really love that's a good Jeffrey one the Blood Money palette, and it was gonna be the Shane Glosson white shift green shade. I saw that in the newest video of myself because I was in there with a wig on and wearing a brown wig and a beanie, and then I was in there a couple times with my orange hair. And I was like, oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. And that was like my voiceover a couple times, like, oh, that's me. That's really cool. Um, but the common misconception people get when they see me in things or see any YouTubers in things, and I'm not the only person in that series, there's a ton of other people using those products. Um, giving it like reviews and stuff People are always like oh ho I hope it brings you a ton of subscribers and tons of views and I hope this really boosts your channel being in this series Y'all know it's me so you come to say hi to me and let me know I was in there But no, but I guarantee I gain not a single subscriber from being in it That's not just it's just not how it works and I'm not looking for like props for reviewing a palette or anything I'm not I, I don't care about that um it's just not how it works people aren't like oh look at this beautiful b-roll look at this girl reviewing a palette in a b-roll of a video let me go look her up like that's not how that works no one's gonna do that you guys know it's me so you you say hi you say hey I saw you that's cool but people who don't know who I am they're not gonna be actively looking for hey who's this girl who swatched this video for two seconds in an hour long video it's just not how it works and that's cool i think it's fun to see myself that's fun <laughs> um it, i think it's fun to see myself and then also that shade though and that blood money palette and it's it's really nice um with the green shift in it uh so yeah that that's what i think about seeing myself in the video, <laughs> I don't know. It's fun to see myself. Um, it's it's more so fun to see you guys being like, hey, that's Bridget. That's more so fun for me, I think. Also, did you ever think that uh, maybe I was in that series a couple times in the first one and this one? Because I'm like the only person who still reviews Jeffrey stuff. And I'm cool with that. There's people who are on Jeffrey's payroll or get PR that uh, review his stuff. But as far as like normal people who buy it have a decent amount of subscribers. Kind of like the only one I feel like. For a while there was a lot of people reviewing Jeffrey's stuff. And it was like a competition of us between, between ourselves and our own heads. Like who can get this video out first? There was nights I didn't sleep because I was working on getting that Jeffrey video out as soon as possible. Um, I can't even tell you how many times I did that. There was times where I was like, I can't sleep. I got to get this video done <laughs> because I had to be the first one to get the Jeffrey video out to get the good views. You know, this is my job. So it was important, but now I don't feel that avid pressure because there's less people reviewing it, but I still like to get these things out super quick so that people who are thinking about buying it can buy it for ourselves out. So yeah, <laughs> it's so weird. I'm not reviewing a Jeffrey palette guys. It feels so weird. I've done it for years, like every single palette for years. 
and the fact that I'm not reviewing one, I'm not gonna have one in my hands, feels strange to me. And it's probably strange to say that it feels strange <laughs> because it's, at the end of the day, it's just an eyeshadow palette, but I just feel like I've built this reputation for myself and expectation that everyone expects me to review it. There's been a couple times where people are like, I thought you said you were swearing off Jeffrey products. I never said that, you guys. There's been a couple times where people confuse me with other people because, you know, you watch a lot of YouTube videos, one run it runs into another at some point, I guess. Yeah, it was never me that swore off Jeffrey products because Jeffrey, like them or hate them. I've had a lot of bad encounters with Jeffrey personally on the internet. Like them or hate them, he brings in views. So your girl has bills to pay and a whole cat family of rescues to take care of. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna review it. So <laughs> judge me or not, I'm here to judge the makeup, not the person behind the makeup. Although I was a Jeffrey fan from like day one. It was 11 years ago that I dressed up as Jeffree Star for Halloween at school. And I was in a small town <laughs> and I lived in the back of a, or in front of a field. <laughs> and I was the only person in the world there who had heard of Jeffree Star except for one guy that I know named Cody. He knew who Jeffrey was too, it was like a whole thing. He's a wonderful. But um, yeah, not many people there knew who Jeffrey was, yet I showed up in a hot pink wig and a mini skirt <laughs> and some Jeffrey Shuffers MySpace page that I uh, printed out and put a little safety pin on my shirt to dress up like him because I was a fan of his music and he back then he had a clothing line and like snapback hats and everything. I was a Jeffree fan from day one, so I started reviewing his makeup, and then I kind of built a reputation of myself to be the one who reviews Jeffree makeup, even though I had bound encounters with him. Everyone online hated him. I don't know if they still do. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I just had this thing going where I was just gonna review the Jeffree stuff. Cancellation or not, it pays the bills. It's good quality makeup, so I review the makeup and not the person, and uh, I'm not saying that I'm gonna stop reviewing Jeffrey stuff. I'm not saying I'm gonna stop reviewing any stuff. There's no brand that I've sworn off to myself except for James Charles. Everyone has justifications for things they do for themselves in their normal everyday lives. It just feels weird to have to be on the internet and explain my choices. Feels weird, feels weird. Buy what you want, I don't care. I say that in all my unfiltered opinions. It's okay if we disagree. It's cool, it's just makeup, it's not that serious. So yeah, that's my explanation. I'm gonna finish my face, I'll be right back. All right, so isn't this lighting so much better? Uh, here is the look. The wings went to hell. They're not at all the same. They're not even distant cousins at this point. They don't even know each other, um, but that's okay. I got distracted. <laughs> um, here's my dark lip. I will say Jeffree does have the best liquid lipstick in the game and people are saying, oh, liquid lipsticks are out of style. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to have to carry my lipstick with me all day. I probably will anyways, but I don't have to worry about touching it up. I don't want to touch my lipstick up. I don't want to drink out of a straw and have residue all over the place. I don't want to go to a restaurant and have a lipstick covered napkin, okay, for someone, someone to clean up after I leave. That's just not my life. I just want to eat and be done and go and have a Pepsi or two and have my lipstick on all day and not to worry about it. I love liquid lipstick. I'll die on this hill. I don't care. Um, but also, I, I was wondering, because I, this is Deep Pockets, or I, I think it's Deep Pockets. It's one from the Jeff. it's this color, um, <laughs> from the Jeffree Star wedding collection. And I was looking for the shade Dominatrix to buy on Beautylish, because Dominatrix is a very dark brown as well, and I just don't have that shade of the Jeffree liquid lipstick in a full size. I think I had a little one at one point, but I think it dried up. So I was looking to purchase that one on Beautylish because they have all of its existing products other than the new collection. Um, there's like none in stock, like a couple in stock. So I'm wondering if Beautylish is parting ways with Jeffrey altogether. My lighting's bad again. Okay, I backed up. <laughs> lighting's a little better. I wonder if Beautylish is parting ways with Jeffrey too over time. There is a little Halloween trio that came out on Beautylish. But as far as like restocks of existing products, there's like not been any. 
even some of the mirrors that I was thinking like, ooh, this, uh, the silver cleaver mirror is really cute or the red one because I broke, <laughs> I shattered my uh, pink one. I was thinking about getting one of the mirrors because I really like his hand mirrors. They're not in stock. So just wondering what's going on with Beautylish. I'll be interested to see if he addresses why he's not restocking the Beautylish or why the new collection didn't drop up there or if the next one does drop up there. I'm not really sure. It's just an observation I had today. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful in some way. I don't know. I feel like people are gonna be like, you'll make a video out of everything. I mean, I just feel like if I reviewed everything to this point for several years and I don't review one, someone's gonna have a question why. And you guys also wanted to see my reaction to the Doomsday palette. So let's do that right now. Okay, so I saw some comments about this palette online when someone posted it on Instagram, I think. And people are saying that it's really light and then some people are saying that they don't care for it, it's just meh, uh, mid, that's what people said. I don't know who says that, but that's what it said. And then a lot of people said it was really pretty. And I'm on the team, it's really pretty. I really like it. So that has a lot of, um, if you look at the first row, it's a lot of neutrals and a little bit of like a yellowy kind of brown, like a yellowy mustardy color in there. I really like the mustardy one. And then a lot of the browns seem really good because there's a good balance of shimmers. And the shimmers happen to be a little bit lighter than some of the bats, which makes a really good highlight for like on the lid and everything. It's really pretty. For the middle row, I'm really feeling those, I'll, I'll circle it, the three kind of uh, muted tones. I'll, I'll just say they're muted. They're like pastel, but not like pastel pinky. They're a little more on the grayer side. Um, so there's a muted tone. I really like those. I think it'd be a really fun look. With those, I would probably use the white, the white green shift on the lid for that because there's not a really pastel shimmer to go with that in this palette color scheme right now. Um, and then the other shades in that palette, the pinks are fun because I feel like they're very signature Jeffrey. It makes a lot of sense. And it's not just one standalone pink shade like he did in a previous palette that I just thought was very random. This one makes sense to me because you have a kind of a corally shade. You have a, that lilac -y, pinky purple shade. And then you also have a signature slightly lighter Barbie pink shimmer shade to go with that hot pink matte. I think it makes a lot of sense. And the bottom row is my favorite. <laughs> the bottom row is my favorite because I love all those greens. I love all those greens. I really like that light, light first shade on the last row. It's like a light mint shade. I feel like you base all over your crease with that. It's going to make everything else easier to blend on top of. The brighter green that looks like a matte and like the center right beside the Shane Lawson white shift shade looks really poppin' to me as well. And then the black with the glitter in it we did have in the blood L Bloodlust, the purple one, the, the purple Jeffrey palette, and it's also a lot of fun and really, really pigmented, which is nice for a black. And then also you can use it as a matte, but it has glitter in it, which kind of pops. So yeah, I really like the palette. I don't really know if I'd use the blue because the aqua blue in the middle of the palette seems a little like, what do you pair with that in the rest of the color scheme? But the rest of it's really pretty, really, really pretty. So I like it a lot other than that one blue shade feels a little bit out of place but you could pair it with that mint shade technically i guess i don't know um so let me know what you think of the palette down below i'll be i'm curious to see your thoughts um i feel like sometimes whether you're on twitter or instagram or anything like that some of the comments on makeup releases are sometimes like really harsh so i would like to know what like the youtube space feels about the palette or at least people that follow me and i feel like we can't, you, you know, you kind of get my vibe. I kind of get where you're coming from because I see a lot of you comment on several videos and stuff. So yeah, I would love to know what you think of this palette down below. That was, I almost forgot to talk about the new Doomsday palette in here, honestly. <laughs> but um, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next video. Have a lovely day and stay safe out there. The world's a weird place. I'm just gonna tell you to stay safe all the time now.